Hello everyone, this is the judge making a recording on Friday the 29th of December. Hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas with their families. I was away uh, with my family because it was the first one uh, after my mother passing. And, um, I'm back home now. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to uh, do any recordings or anything whilst I was away. Anyway, uh, Saturday the 30th looks like it's going to be a washout. And in any case, even if it isn't, I've not got anything that I want to bet this weekend. So I thought I would discuss the results of the uh, Christmas period and look at how it affects the Gold Cup. So if you remember, uh, if you've read the document here, the Cheltenham Gold Cup Anti-Post Preview, uh, and if you watch the video, you'll see that the shortlist I came up with was this. York Hill was on the shortlist, he's absolutely shot his bolt in the Lexus, he won't be turning up in the Gold Cup, Duvan is injured. So on this list, we have Mike Bite who won the King George, and Road to Respect, who won the Lexus. Those were the four horses I picked out anti-post for the Gold Cup. And of course I advised you to bet Mike Bite. I was aware of uh, road to respect as a danger and um, uh, as I said I would want to see him win the Lexus before I decide to bet him for the Gold Cup 10 to 1 is fair enough you know if he, he's a festival winner he's now a grade 1 winner he's also a, a grade mile grade 1 3 mile winner and he's a Lexus winner so he will be, and he's the right, well, sort of the right age, he will be seven come the Gold Cup. But Mike Bite is the standout candidate. He won the RSA Chase, he's won the King George. They are the two best trials. And as I said, the betting advice was The betting strategy was to get on each way at the price. It was 8-1 to one when I wrote it. 7-1 to one was available shortly after I posted it. Uh, and now we've got Road to Respect as well. So if we look at some of the horses that are in the market. Sizing John had a fibrillating heart or something. He shot his bolt. Can't have him. Duvan. He's injured. Native River's not on the shortlist. Our Duke's not on the shortlist. Thistlecrack was beaten in the King George. Bristol de May blew out in the King George. York Hill blew out in the Lexus. Disco has not been seen. They didn't run him. Total Recall won the Hennessy. Uh, he hasn't won a grade one. I couldn't consider him. Whisper, also not a grade one chase winner. Jack Adam, well beaten in the Lexus. Vanilla Rocco, beaten in the race last year. And Outlander, beaten in the race last year. So, we're right down here. A lot of these horses are not going to run or they're not good enough. So there are very, very few left in the market. The horses that are left in the market that we can consider are Mike Bite, Coney Island, who's, who won a grade one in uh, 2016, but he missed the whole spring. He, he last ran in December 2016 and wasn't seen again until coming out recently a whole year off. Now he's short enough in the market, he hasn't run in a, a Lexus or a King George, but he has produced some, you know, some fine performances. So he's, he's a lively outsider. But the main danger to Mike Bite is definitely Road to Respect. But one other horse we need to consider. Uh, but, you know, you've got 
Matt Chapman saying, oh, the race is all ever so confusing. No, it's not very confusing at all. If you ignore form, not ignore it, but if you look at profiling, profiling makes it a lot clearer. The other horse that is, of course, come into the picture, although he's still a big price because you don't know if he's going to run, is Nigel Twist and Davies' Black Lion. A Black Lion won the Beecher Chase at Aintree over the National Fences. And he won very impressively. He was second to Bristol de May in the Charlie Hall. Of course, uh, he's also won the RSA Chase in 2016 as a novice over three miles, a grade one at the Cheltenham Festival. So he's a three mile grade one chase festival winner. So he needs to be taken seriously if they go this route. But they skipped Cheltenham last year and went for the Grand National. Funny enough, more than one horse, Hedge Hunter, Mon Moan, that I can think of off the top of my head, had a top four finish or won the National uh, and then came back and placed in the Gold Cup the following year. So if, if Black Lion were to run in the Gold Cup, he may well be capable of getting in the frame, that's for sure. So he's, he's not to be dismissed lightly. Okay, Black Lion. I wouldn't want to take an anti-post price about him because they if, they, if their target is definitely the, the national and Tristan Davis says we won't make any mistake this time he'll, he's going to win the national, then are they going to want to give him a, you know, a hard race in the Gold Cup before they go for the big one? Anyway, so he's on the short list in case he lines up, but you can't bet him anti-post. So we should be sitting pretty. I hope if you got the message on Twitter, I'm sorry I couldn't send an email because I was away from the computer, with the uh, bet on double shuffle for the King George, who ran second, of course, and I advised 40 to 1 each way without my bite. That race couldn't have worked out much better. All the horses that might have been a danger in the Gold Cup all got stuffed. We landed the bet on double shuffle and Mike Bite won the race and is now, you know, clear favourite for the Gold Cup. All the things that we could have wished for. So that's just a brief uh, discussion on that. I mean, I'm, I, I, all those horses like York Hill and Sizing John, uh, that were well beaten, and Minella Rocco, that were well beaten in the Lexus, and those well beaten in the King George. I don't see any of those winning the Gold Cup. So my shortlist now would be Mike Bite, Road to Respect, Coney Island, and Black Lion. But of those, Mike Bite is by far the most likely winner. And I think they'll let him bowl along at the front in the Gold Cup, and uh, I think you'd be very hard to beat. Okay, there we go, everybody. Watch the. I, I suggest you reread the document, and then look at the race results, and then watch the video as well, the original video. Thanks very much for listening. Happy New Year to everyone. I will be there. May there is racing in the New Year, uh, New Year's Day, Cheltenham. And I normally have a bet there, so I will speak to you all very soon.